Okay, boys, so um, the other day, um, I did a video on the electronic throttle control and uh, while I was at it, uh, I cleaned the auto, the uh, throttle body because it was absolutely filthy dirty. No, check out what's happening with the idle. There, I just blipped the throttle and now the car is not returning to idle. So, I did not go through the reset procedure. There's a shot of the, uh, the throttle body and you can see how just how dirty it was. It's a shot from my video the other day. And uh, I cleaned it up, and it cleaned up quite nice. I was happy with it. But as I said, now I have an issue with the. Let me just blip the throttle, so I've got you on the, uh, the packer here. Uh, you can see. I've, sorry about the glare. So I've got a couple of the parameters actually. Um, a couple of the pids pulled up that are relative, uh, that are pertinent to the issue, of course. So uh, the ones in particular are the RPM itself and the desired idle. So just on the screen there, watch it. I'll blip the throttle. See it hanging at 1200 there? The desired idle is, is listed there, and no, it's creeping back down. That's not right. It should not hang at, uh, at that um, at that setting, and I'm sure it's because the calibration is off now, because um, uh, effectively, you have a different throttle uh, bore now that the, uh, the throttle body has actually been cleaned, and I'm quite sure that the issue is I need to actually recalibrate it. So how's that done? In the manual for the SX4, it tells you electronic throttle body calibration and tells you in the manual where to actually go to. Uh, but up here there's a notation that says uh, if the throttle body or APP sensor assembly has been replaced, perform the following steps. This is essentially the reset procedure. And it is actually just a matter of uh, disconnecting and resetting the the uh the the ground on the battery for 20 seconds but if you don't do that i think you're going to have an issue with uh then it tells you the second step keep ignition switch on for five seconds or more without running the engine uh, before you restart it, of course so i'm going to go through those motions i don't think i need to show you disconnecting the battery i think you can well imagine uh how, <laughs> how that goes um so again the issue is i'll blip the throttle see it hanging just a bit there that's no right it should be closing in on the desired idle much quicker than that it is definitely hanging so um, let me go through the reset and we'll cut back to it in just a second okay so here we go boys I just reset the battery I lifted the ground for uh, 20 seconds or so maybe a wee bit longer as the uh, manual says always read the manual uh, save yourself a lot of grief and a lot of guesswork read the manual worth every penny I, I really don't understand why people don't pay 20 bucks to get the factory manual for their car it pays off in absolute spades you know and, and it's interesting as all hell so anyway so said so done right so i'll blip the throttle again uh i've got just uh, i've not already done it just the really the two primary parameters on the list here guys because the other stuff is kind of superfluous to the issue so again, the issue was when I blipped the throttle, it was hanging, right? So watch the engine speed, the upper. And uh, of course, there's no real point in, in, in graphing the desired uh, idle speed because of course it's, it's unchanging, but uh, you'll get the idea with the engine speed. So there's a blip and you can see it comes down much, much quicker. And you can see it's heading right towards. I, sh I should have actually graphed this on the, uh, while I had the issue, but uh, Oh well, too late now. But you can see that the desired idle speed, you can see the graph just plummeting there. There is no hanging. It's uh, sorted, just like the manual says. You play with the throttle body in any way, shape or form, including a cleaning, although the manual doesn't say that, but effectively you've changed the, the, uh, the effective bore in the throttle body by cleaning it and you'll need to go through the recalibration procedure. So, that kind of interesting. Somebody might get something out of it. So there you go, boys. That's post reset. No longer hanging.